What's up everyone? Welcome to Film Spot, and today we will be talking about the best upcoming movies. With Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds bringing their legendary characters to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, fans can't wait for Deadpool 3. And now Jackman's stunt double, Daniel Stevens, has teased an epic rivalry between the two leading heroes, posting an image of himself in the gym on Instagram, showing off his biceps and arms with a message to Reynolds, preparing for Reynolds' beating. In a tribute to the long-running comic book feud between Wolverine and Deadpool, Stevens also used the iconic theme music from X-Men the Animated Series. In a recent interview with People magazine, Jackman himself commented on the dynamic, calling it something he's never done before and teasing that it's gonna be fun to tackle. The back and forth comments between Jackman and Reynolds have fans anxiously anticipating the fight scene, with Stevens's promise adding fuel to the fire. With Deadpool's healing factor, there's a good chance Logan won't hold back when the two finally cross blades. Whether they'll battle it out more than once is still up in the air, but fans can catch Deadpool 3 in theaters on November 8, 2024. Zack Snyder, the writer and director of the smash Netflix film Army of the Dead, has finally shared an update on the status of the sequel Army of the Dead 2. The original film, which aired in May 2021, immediately became one of the most watched films on the streaming platform. Despite the announcement of a Planet of the Dead sequel, the project has failed to materialize. Snyder stated that Army of the Dead 2 is still in the works in a recent interview with The Nerd Queens. The delay, according to the filmmaker, is primarily due to his work on his next Netflix space opera, Rebel Moon. Here's what he had to say. As far as the Army universe goes, though, it's still alive and well in my mind. I know exactly what I would do. It really depends on how we try to figure out how we go forward with Rebel Moon and the Rebel Moon universe. It's not a small time commitment, Rebel Moon stuff. A sci-fi thing at this scale does require a lot of attention to make it all make sense. It's a very interconnected world. So it really remains to be seen how soon it is before we have the sequel back on our screens. Prepare to groove to the beats of the colorful and crazy world of Trolls, as the trailer for the third movie in the franchise will be revealed on Tuesday. After the success of Trolls, Marvel fans have been eagerly waiting for the release of Loki Season 2, and while Disney Plus has been tight-lipped about the show's premiere date, Owen Wilson, who plays Mobius in the series, recently provided a possible release window. The streaming service recently removed release windows for its Phase 5 shows, raising concerns about a delay for Loki Season 2. Despite Marvel Studios not yet updating the release date, Wilson speculated in an interview with Entertainment Tonight that the show could premiere at the end of the summer or September. Wilson's comments align with Bespin Bulletin's earlier report that Loki Season 2 is eyeing a release date much later in the summer, indicating a possible release in August or September. Originally announced with a broad summer 2022 release window, the streaming service's change to coming soon has left fans eager for updates. Needless to say, we'll have you covered in case of any updates. Ghostbusters fans can rejoice, for development on the sequel to Ghostbusters Afterlife has officially begun under the working title Firehouse. Director Jason Reitman and writer Gil Keenan will return to direct the hotly anticipated film. The official Ghostbusters Twitter account has revealed the first set photo which shows Reitman and Keenan with a clapperboard and a ghost trap. The caption reads, Back in the Firehouse, Day 1. The sequel, which was teased in the Afterlife end credits, will be set in the famed New York City Firehouse, with Ernie Hudson returning his role as Winston Zedmore. Keenan told The Hollywood Reporter that the team has been crafting this with as much care as it took to build Afterlife into a worthy sequel. While plot details are very scarce at the moment, Reitman has hinted that Zedmore Industries will play a crucial role in Ghostbusters' future. We'll be on the edge of our seats for this one, the length of the latest Guardians of the Galaxy film means that fans can expect a much more extended experience. The highly anticipated Marvel Studios sequel will clock in at a whopping 2 hours and 29 minutes, making it the longest film in the Guardians of the Galaxy franchise. The official synopsis for the upcoming film states that Chris Pratt will play Peter Quill, who is struggling to deal with the death of Gamora while leading his crew in a fight to save the universe and one of their own. 
The stakes are high, and the mission's success is crucial to preserving the Guardians as we know them. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is written and directed by James Gunn, and the film will feature the return of MCU veterans such as Zoe Saldana, Dave Bautista, and Karen Gillan, among others. The movie is slated for release on May 5th, and fans are eagerly anticipating what promises to be an epic adventure in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Dwayne The Rock Johnson's rumored disdain for Jackery Levi's Shazam has been making headlines again following the underperformance of Shazam Fury of the Gods at the box office. Reports suggest that Johnson's desire to keep Black Adam and Shazam permanently separated may have influenced the Shazam sequel's post credit scene, which focused on the Justice Society without featuring any of Black Adam's main players. According to The Wrap, a post credit scene featuring Aldous Hodge's Hawkman and other Justice Society members approaching Shazam to join their team was originally planned for Black Adam, but was vetoed by Johnson. Instead, Johnson arranged his now-famous Superman cameo. Levi also appeared to confirm this report on his Instagram story. Expect to be whisked back to the golden days of ancient Rome as Ridley Scott's epic gladiator adventure continues. The original film starring Russell Crowe and Joaquin Phoenix was a huge critical and financial success, winning five Oscars and becoming a cinema classic in the eyes of audiences all over the world. Despite its definitive ending, plans for a sequel have been floating around for years, with the most recent installment planned to hit theaters on November 22, 2024. While the premise of Gladiator 2 is yet unknown, recent casting announcements provide some hints. Paul Meskel, best known for his role in Normal People, will play Lucius, the little boy who idolized Maximus and also wished to become a heroic gladiator. With the word gladiator still a part of the title, it's safe to assume that Lucius has fulfilled his dream and entered the fighting pits. The original film's impressive sense of scale, filmmaking prowess, and thrilling plot capture the hearts of audiences and critics alike. Now with Gladiator 2, Ridley Scott has the chance to bring that same magic back to the big screen. Will the sequel stay true to the grounded roots of the original, or take a more supernatural approach? Only time will tell. Since the first season of The Last of Us on HBO concluded on March 12th, fans have been eagerly awaiting word on the show's second season. Now, series star Bella Ramsey has given fans a hint about when they can expect the next installment of the post-apocalyptic series. Ramsey reportedly said that filming for season two of The Last of Us will begin either at the end of this year or at the beginning of next year during an appearance on The Jonathan Ross Show on March 18th. As a result, the second season could be delayed until late 2024 or early 2025. The upcoming season will be based on the 2022 sequel game The Last of Us Part II, and series co-creator Neil Druckmann has already stated that Bella Ramsey will return to reprise her role as Ellie. While viewers may have to wait a while for season two, they can take solace in knowing that the writers already have a clear idea of where the series is headed and who will be telling the story. Marvel Studios is apparently shaking up its release plans for the highly anticipated Avengers Secret Wars set to hit theaters in 2026. Although fans will have to wait until 2025's Avengers The Kang Dynasty for Earth's Mightiest Heroes to gather, 2026 will be full of spectacular multiversal adventures that are sure to reintroduce some of our favorite Marvel characters. According to a recent tweet by the Cosmic Circus's Alex Perez, who is known for being an insider, Marvel Studios is set to adapt Secret Wars across multiple movies, confirming the rumors that the storyline will be split into two. The moderators of the Marvel Studios Spoilers subreddit have also shared that they have heard from trusted sources that Marvel Studios is in very, very early talks about splitting Secret Wars into two movies. Furthermore, there's potential for Phase 7 to be pulled into the multiverse saga, which was unexpected news. Though the release dates for these movies may be pushed back, this news only heightens the anticipation and excitement for Marvel's upcoming blockbusters. Stay tuned for more updates on this epic saga. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.